Okay. Is it back now? I'm still I'm in the yeah. Creative Cloud also. Okay. Which is a problem. Still syncing? Oh, maybe yeah. it's just uh, internet. Yeah, we'll try to fix that. I can check here. Can you check if you are connected to internet? Okay, can you hear us now? Okay, are we back? Do we have audio, Frank, on your side in Warcast? Okay, now we can speak. Awesome. Yeah, they can hear us. They can hear, we could Yeah, I'm making already, progress like step by step. Yeah, yes. I see Rob in the chat. I see Munir. I see Irene, Tyron. Okay, we're back. Awesome. Okay. And uh, Reverb Mike, his name is Reverb Mike, says it sounds great. So when the reverb tells you we have sound, it means that there is sound. Okay? Mm. So that's cool. Uh, so we'll be live two hours with, uh, you want to introduce yourself? Um, and I will try yeah. to fix your internet. Maybe sure. you can just yeah. present who you are. <laughs> so my name is Jeroen Krilaars. Um, nobody here can pronounce it, but uh, they do their best. I'm a founder of Animography, which is a type foundry for animated typefaces. Mm -hmm. which is basically me and a small network of type designers, motion designers, and um, programmers who write tools for uh, After Effects. Mm -hmm. And um, together we create these animated typefaces for After Effects, which you can type and customize and uh, integrate in your uh, motion graphics. Yeah, I'm very excited. And uh, I will show your website in a second. Yeah. Uh, so this is awesome. Uh, and uh, if you follow Adobe Live, actually, you will be excited. Um, yeah, if we can show my website, I mean, my, my computer, sorry, and your website. Yeah. So it's called Animography. And uh, actually, um, I used it, I think, two years ago. I was looking for an animated typeface, and I licensed some of them. So mm -hmm. in some Adobe Live shows, sometimes you see 10, 9, yep, 8, and everything is, uh, yeah, yes. everything is animated. And uh, actually, uh, I licensed uh, these animations on his website. So when I was looking for, uh, um, you know, like designers to create uh, a project this week, uh, and maybe we can show some examples. So where should I go? Old typeface here. Yes. Uh, and then you see, like, you, you, you roll over, and then you will yep. see. You get a little preview of different the preview. uses. And what's amazing is that once in After Effects, so you can select uh, each character, but you can also change the colors. Everything is dynamic. Yeah, it depends on uh, it depends on the typeface. Some uh, typefaces only have color to get to uh, customize. Others have uh, line width and speed and um, that kind of stuff. This one is. Oh, is that one? It's yeah. a new one. Yeah, it's a, it's the latest one. I don't know this one. Whoa, it's, with a glitch. Uh, yeah, I went a bit overboard with the controllers. This has uh, <laughs> thirty-one controls to um, to customize the glitch, and you can make it super short and uh, and fast, or really. Um, elaborate, uh, oh my long, God. glitchy with a lot of uh, small details. That's awesome. So yeah, so you know what I had in mind with uh, uh, this week was to recreate like a kind of creative agencies, but what would be uh, a creative agency in the 20s with Bauhaus, you know? Yeah. Uh, because they would have, of course, a graphic designer such as Katerina, but also I, I, would, I think that these days they would have a motion designer like you. Definitely, you know? yeah. And they would have also a UX designer who will be our next guest, Philip Trotman. He's coming from Germany. He will be live in two hours with Rufus, working in Adobe XD. Mm -hmm. But during this show, uh, we'll be live with, uh, yeah, so maybe, yeah, it, it should come now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's there. It's sinking. Yeah. Oh, you see it? Yeah. Yeah, we got the cloud. So yeah, thanks for mm -hmm. sharing the schedule. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with Katerina, then you run for two hours, and then Philip Trotman. And this is a kind of, uh, yeah, small Bauhaus creative agencies uh, being live with us this week on Tuesday, this is today, but also on Wednesday and Thursday. So if, if, if this is the first time you're watching Adobe Live, we really give time to our guests to share their creative process with a total of six hours per guest, two hours today, two hours same time tomorrow, two hours on Thursday. So this is great. So we have this campaign uh, called Hidden Treasures, you know, mm -hmm. where Eric, they uh, discovered these lost, lost typefaces from the 20s. And uh, with the design students, they finalize the typefaces that are now available on Typekit. And uh, what do you want to do with these typefaces? Um, what's your plan? So you have yeah. three days. So what's the plan for the first day, tomorrow, and Thursday? Well, there's two typefaces. And um, I'm planning to use today to animate uh, the Xans typeface. Okay. Um, or at least set up the system, not the entire typeface. But we'll start with one letter and see uh, how far we get. 
Okay, so you will share your creative process yeah. as if you would like uh, create a new tape face for animography. Exactly, and then uh, tomorrow we'll uh, have a go at the, uh, the other typeface, the Yoshmi. And uh, on Thursday, I will try to Com incorporate combine um, something. Yeah, in, in a design of some kind and make a nice uh, loop with it. So that's, that's the plan. Okay, guess. that's yeah. the plan. Yeah. If it sounds good let's, to you. Yeah, let's start. Yeah. Let's start in After Effects. So okay. we will uh, well, show your thing. screen, hopefully. We'll see if that works. Oh, not really. Okay, so ah. <laughs> almost. So let me do something first. Yep. It will be very quick. It will be amazing. Amazing technology from Paris. It's the best. Boom. There we, there go. we go. Yes. Okay. Um, and as you start also, um, so uh, Jeroen, we have also a, a challenge for our viewers. Today they have to yeah. use the typeface to create logos that we will review at the end of the show. So you yeah. have just seen it with Eric, we will do it also together. Okay, cool. Uh, also, I'm sure we have a lot of questions about After Effects, your work. So I will always um, be very attentive to the chat, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and I will pick the best questions. And sometimes I will interrupt you and say, ah, oh, we have a question from uh, uh, who's watching from uh, Lin Niladri saying After Effects worlds. So it's not a question, but maybe we'll yeah, get a question. But it does work. Okay, so make sure to enter the challenge. Also, uh, I'm in a good mood today, so I will do a giveaway at some point with our classic chat and win segment. This will be back, uh, and uh, today we will give posters that have been created on Adobe Live by uh, our previous guest. Awesome. Yeah, so you will see later, but stay tuned. Uh, be active in the chat, make sure to sign in, say hi, and now let's start in After Effects. Okay. Okay, so you create a new composition. Yep. And I'm just going to start with an A. Mm -hmm. Center it, more or less. So that's the A. Oh, okay, so which typeface is it again? Yeah, this is um, Xanx. Xanx, okay, Xanx. so it's one of the two typefaces that we invite you to download uh, for free on TypeKit. So, and um, yeah, this is where I start. I start with a single composition with one letter in the middle. Um, and I used to uh, create one for the A, for the B, for the C, and then start animating it. Oh, so one composition per letter. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we have some questions already by, uh, so sorry, you have an Indonesian name. I cannot read Indonesian, so, uh, but asking about what is Font Manager and Keysmith, because they can see it in your yeah. UI. You know? So Keysmith is a, um, it's a tool to create uh, easing uh, on your keyframes. It's super simple. OK, Keysmith. Yeah, I use it all the time, because so I don't want to so be fiddling around with, uh, with, uh, with the motion curves and that kind of stuff. OK. Uh, we will see how it works. That's yeah, interesting. And it's, and it's super precise, because you can just type in a number and hit go. I'm going to be using it a lot. And Phone Manager is a tool, um, you can use it to type animated typefaces with. Oh. Uh, and also, it helps you in the process of creating animated typefaces. Oh, this is awesome. So, um, okay. I, can show, I can show you real quick. Yeah, thank uh, you. And it works. Uh, as you're doing that, we have a question from uh, Shalva. Um, how do you set up the grid that way? I was trying to do that today in preferences, but I wasn't successful. Oh, it's, so. it's, it's, it's right here. It's proportional grid. Ah, proportional grid. And in the, in the preferences, you can set how many... Um, how many segments you want. Yeah, how many like segments and the width in between five, it. Five, yeah. six. Proportional grids. Yeah, so I have, a, I have a new, um, new composition here. Just going to pick a, a, a typeface. So hi, Crystal Show. Thanks for watching. Uh, Joanne is working in After Effects CC, so it's part of the Creative Cloud. You can use After Effects for 2D motion design, create animations. You can use it for uh, visual effects in the movie industry. Uh, but today, we will animate typefaces. Type and of, then yeah. he has plugins. So with After Effects, you can uh, add a lot of uh, plugins, extensions. And he was mentioning Keysmith and Font Manager, but yeah. you will see how it works. Yeah, and Font Manager just um, so you types type. animated letters, and this was something I made before. 
Oh, okay. And um, it's it's pre-animated. There's a controller, and you can uh, use it to uh, change the colors. Okay. It's super simple, and this is a zero to hundred slider that determines um, how it will be animated. So here's the keyframes. You can make it go super slow, oh, or change the appear. easing on it. Wow. So that's a, that's a ready-made uh, existing typeface, and we're gonna uh, get rid of that again and create something like that from scratch. Okay. So I have the A here, and this is gonna be my template for the entire typeface, the size and placement okay. of this composition and the type. Um, so I'm gonna uh, go into the setup here and say new typeface template. And they're asking, are the plugins free? It's the, a question from uh, uh, Kud uh, Marmuri. And uh, actually for Keysmith, apparently you give whatever you want. So it's suggested um, to give $30. Yeah, I think Keysmith uh, is, a, is a pay what you want uh, tool. With, and it's nice to, of course, uh, pay s some money for it to uh, keep uh, people uh, Yeah, of course, uh, motivated it. to... And Font Manager Plugged. is uh, not a free font, uh, not a free uh, script. Plugin, uh, okay. But it does have a free trial, so you can try oh. it out and see if it's good for you. And if it, if it makes you save time, then yeah, of course. And there's there's it. also um, another uh, script that's called uh, Animography Controller. And oh, is it by you? Uh, no, it's not by me. It's by the same uh, guy uh, who made Font Manager, oh, Alex, okay. Alex White. And it's just a super slim version, so you can drag, manually drag a couple of characters in and make a controller for it to control an entire word in one go. This is awesome. But it doesn't um, it doesn't position the type on in the in the composition for you. You have to manually set the type, and then uh, you can uh, parent all the controllers to one central controller. Okay. So that's uh, that's a free one. So, so far you clicked on Quick Start, and I saw the... Uh, yeah, oh. I, c I clicked on New Typeface Template. Ah, new Typeface Template. Yeah. So, yeah. what that did is... It was um, like blinking, like... Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, it uh, made a, ah, a new, new composition for every uh, wow. character and made it a... Uh, oh, that's uh, so cool. So, yeah. So, it took the typeface and it already created the, all the composition? And everything with the is same in, template? Yeah, it's, everything is in the same position. It made a oh shape layer, gosh. so it takes a lot of the copy paste in So, there. okay. Because the thing is with animated typefaces, normally with, with animation you make something and you tweak it and you you you, you keep on evolving your process. And um, with animated typefaces you you design a system and you're not per se an animator but more an engineer. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that comes a lot of repetitive tasks. So um, you don't want to be going through all these compositions, manually type each character, make it into a, a, a shape yeah, layer and throw out the yeah. other layer. So this is just something that um, that helps with that and also takes out the human factor so you know everything is in the exact right place. Um, so I'm going to keep this one for later reference. And I'm going to Start with the A. And the thing is with systems, um, systems have consistency, but they also mm -hmm. can become quite predictable and boring, so it takes out all the, 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 the character. Um, so I always try to make a system that's flexible, that's adaptable, customizable and has enough room for, you know, pleasant surprises. And uh, recently I've been using a lot of uh, uh, the random expression. Okay. Also, I've been doing that with uh, with Zircon. So mm -hmm. every character you type has a different uh, glitch. So if you type the A three times, each A will be different. And I'm oh. going to show that in, uh, That's awesome. in a second. So let's get some work done. We have something to show for at the end of the and uh, the hi Misa, session. thanks for joining. Hello Diego. Okay, so oh yeah, you want to do it on a different one? Yeah, so I, I make two, two um, layers, two layers to uh, individually. Uh, hi 
and my controllers are always green. Um, so what is a controller? How yeah. would you define it? So a controller is um, a place where I hook up all my um, oh, all my uh, expression controls. Okay. And instead of keyframing everything, I will try to make everything uh, with expressions as much as I can to uh, create this flexible system that you can uh, hmm. change during the process. So I'm going to reposition those anchor points. Oh, to center them yeah, yep. for each shape, okay. So um, what I'm going to uh, do first is um, Stay tuned, yeah, in about uh, maybe 12 minutes, we start uh, our chat and win segment, giving away posters. This week, poster created uh, on Adobe Live by a previous guest. Oh, Giacomo Ribodo say, says hi. Oh, Giacomo, yeah. yes. Hi, Giacomo. He's a motion designer too. Yeah, he made one of the one of the typefaces on uh, animography. It's, uh, oh, okay. It's called Ink. It's, uh, it's called Ink? Yeah, super nice one. Okay, let's me, let me browse all typeface and yeah. let's find Ink. Ink is alphabetical. Here we go. Yeah. So Giacomo, wow, and Lorenzo, I love it. He made it with his brother, I guess. So let's get uh, into this. Ah, and there's a video, look. We can play the video. Um, Good job, Giacomo. <laughs> So this is what an ex uh, this is an example of a final finalized animated typeface, and now we get back to um, Jiren's stream uh, screen because he's showing us how it works. Let's see if I remember this expression right. Okay, so. So an expression, so it's like running a script and then uh, modifying properties. So here you're using a random, that's why you wanted to showcase. Yeah. To randomize the X and Y positions of your objects, okay. So this should work already. But now that um, it jumps all the way to the, to oh, the yeah. edge there. And if we start ramping this up, we can see it starts wiggling on the on the X. Okay. Um, so we need to actually add this value to the equation as well. Mm -hmm. And same for the Y position. So yeah, now it's going um, 33 yeah, so pixels in, in each direction. And it's so if you start yeah, pressing play, it will just uh, yeah, randomize so the position. And if I ramp this up, it's going crazy okay, so in all more, kinds of ways. More space and margin. OK. So but to stop it from going all out, we need to um, And a little bit more. I'm gonna make a random seed. So, what is a random seed in this case? Um, it's a number mm -hmm. for input. Um, that well, it might be better to just show. Let's see if this works. Yeah. So the random seed is just an input if. Um, it now takes a random uh, value between minus 33 and minus 80 for the Y position mm -hmm. and uh, offsets the uh, position. And if you change the seed, it takes a different input and 
takes a different uh, position. And this little true here is instead of uh, before when it was jumping all over the screen, it takes one random um, oh, okay. value and sticks with that. And okay. doesn't move, okay. Yeah, but the fun thing is if we now um, yeah, animate and, this. And we will zoom in on the expression at the end, so if you want to take a screenshot and try playing with it, you can, uh, you can try to play with it. And put it to zero. So it now goes from a random position to zero, it animates in place. And we can just take this and paste it to this as well. And you see they both go in a different... Oh, I see. And they come back to... Okay. Yeah. I need to copy only the expression and not the value of the position. So, there it works. I'm going to do the same for the rotation. So why do you prefer to use uh, expressions in this case? Um, because if I use keyframes, everything is set and you can't yeah. change it. If I use expressions, um, I, ca I can really easily change um, uh, how wide these characters go in, in, in the random space okay. for all the characters. So if I t type one word, I can use the expression to... Um, oh, make it wider. Yeah, to, to um, affect all the letters, mm -hmm. instead of going into each letter, oh, changing change millions key of keyframes. Key so it's going to be all part of one big uh, yeah, system. It's a modular thing, basically. So for the rotation, I'm going to actually take this as a basis. And get some stuff out. Okay, let me try something just to see if we have a, if yeah. we can zoom in, you know, with the screen. So we can spend more time on the uh, expression. So I think it's in the accessibility uh, settings. You see accessibility here? Uh, accessibility. Oh, uh, here. Okay, try to zoom. Okay, that should work. So yeah, we'll try to just zoom in a bit. So you know how we do that? We use a control, and then you can use the mouse wheel. Oh yeah, okay. okay. And it will just zoom. Um, so maybe as you do. So now you will add an expression for the yeah. rotation, right? Yeah. Okay, can so I maybe just... we can really explain uh, step by step how it works. Can also um, go to the... Yeah, so you can zoom out if you feel yeah. that uh, it's messy. Just a, a control, uh, control. Oh, control, yep. Here we go. Can I zoom into this part? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. We only have one value here, so. Which yeah. is a rotation? Yep. Okay, so the first line is you call scene render. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna zoom back out because I need to pick with something. Okay. Um, So we can really yeah, like yeah. Uh, explain what's going on for beginners. Yeah. So here you say random. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe I'll I'll, sim I'll simplify it a bit. Okay. Um, so the random expression says. Um, let me just type it. For the rotation, take a a, a value randomly between ninety. Uh, minus, minus 90, 90 and 90. 90. Okay. And um, instead of this value, I'm gonna uh, take this um, set random random. Needs to be random rotation. Instead of this 90, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna make a 90 here and change. I oh, take this value and say, no, yeah. okay, so it's not it's, 90, it would be yeah. the value of this slider. Yeah, so which the code is, is now 90. Yeah. And the code is automatically generated. You just yeah. use this tool and you connect it. So that's how it works with After Effects. Yeah, so you don't even have to type it, but just pick with whatever value you want. Yeah. 
Um, and the fun thing is that instead and now, of... Yeah. As you said, like if in the slider you say 45, it will change it everywhere. Yeah, it's, 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 it's half, half of that. There but the, the power comes with it not being an absolute number because 90, you can't animate you know, the figure of 90 in code. Okay. Um, but I can put a keyframe in here. Um, oh, and change the value of the yeah. slider. Okay. So let's open it up. So start out as 45. Okay. And here it's and zero. So now it says oh. take a random stop. Yeah, a yeah. random number, but random narrow, random number between zero and zero. And zero. So so which is zero? Should be zero. Okay. So if I do this, you can see it's it's animating from a random position. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm gonna copy this and paste it. So now both go like that. Um, so that's um, one part. Let's see how we can make these segments appear and disappear. Can I draw really well? Oh, ah, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. Change the, the glitch, car. The glitch. glitch is back. Come on. Yeah, there we ah. go. Delete the stroke. We don't need that. I'm just going to zero this out. Do we still have a glitch or not? Are we good? Yeah. Oh, maybe uh, add some gray in your blue. See what I mean? Should we take a different color altogether? Yeah, or. Ah, okay. This one is perfect. Yeah? Green works. Okay, green works. <laughs> Thank God. That's the Black Magic. Uh, Black Magic, actually, it's a good yes. name. It's the name out, of the device. Shout out to Black Magic. It's also Black Magic. What kind of magic speech. going on in here? Um, yeah, what I'm going to do with this. So what do you want to do with uh, this shape? I'm going to uh, use an alpha mat to... So no, Tima, black magic is not the dark matter. <laughs> it's just the name of the device that converts what you see on the screen with HDMI to the live streaming software. And we don't know why, when, when this box see red, full red, it becomes crazy. Yeah, it's, it's uh, we don't know why. dark side of the force. <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to do is make another slider, call it wipe. Okay. And pick whip. And this to it. So if I now change this, it's gonna wipe. Okay, so that's the size of the of the scale. Yeah. Okay. So the, the scale of this object is and connected to your slider. I'm gonna use an alpha mat. Oh. I start recognizing your style now. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's all I about see what's going on. It's all about creating systems. Hi Jason from Mauritius. Thanks for joining us. We're live with uh, Jeroen, who is animating a typeface uh, that has been uh, uh, actually created uh, for you, for the community, from uh, um, the twenties, so lost typefaces from the Bauhaus um, design group, and now they are available. So if you check the challenge tab on behance.net slash live, you will get the link to uh, get uh, these two typefaces. And today we challenge you to create and share a logo. So that's in the challenge tab. And uh, at the end uh, with uh, Jeroen, we will review the logos and I will ask you which one do you want to reward? and then the designer behind the logo will get a one-year Creative Cloud subscription. So get creative. We received a lot of entries already. Some of them couldn't be reviewed during the first show, so we will review them at the end of this one. And you still have one hour to submit your logo. Okay, so check the challenge tab. Okay, and I'm just presenting the challenge, and now he has an animated tape face, you see? Um, yeah, you're so done. Let's, yeah, <laughs> basically. So let's add some color, not the red. Not the red. And actually, oh. Black Magic. Black Magic, shout out. 
Yeah, it is lit up. Ah. Ah, I prepared something. Okay. I actually prepared this something. This is Black Magic compliant. That's good. So, yeah. Let's get some funky colors in there. Okay, so now you add more yeah. controllers, but these controllers are just colors. Yeah, so these, um, these are for the colors. So, um, let's go in the fill. And okay. That's easy. You know? I mean, yeah, when you understand the philosophy, I mean, you make it look very easy. But it is not that easy. It's 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 just uh, just like finding the properties of the shape. Yeah, and it's a different thought saying, process. Yeah, it's a basically. completely different mindset. I really like it. So we now have an animated A. Let's. Uh, Use these a bit. Okay. So this is where Keysmith comes oh, this in. Is, so Keysmith is more for easing. Yeah. So you don't use F9, this type of stuff. No, 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 no. no. I have um, four different, actually five different states. Okay. One is 25% ease, 50, 75, and 100. <laughs> so that's basically um, my grid of easing. Uh, so I. Do most of my easing with this, and if it's uh, not close enough, then I'll. Uh... Nice. So maybe we want to have it ease a bit more at the end, so I go for the 75 here. Okay, and you just experiment. Yeah, it's a bit more snappy. Yeah. So. Awesome. And the, the, the fun thing is, if we now. Um... Oops. And to celebrate, actually, this first animated typeface, you know what we should do? We should do a chat and win. Okay, so we will play a short transition video, and then I yeah. will explain what this is. Okay. okay. So chat and win, let me explain what this is. So we want you to sign in and say something in the chat. Okay, so we will celebrate someone. Uh, actually, we have someone who will, in the back, who will just pick someone who says hi. You just need to say hi, you just need to ask a question. It could be anything, but it's right now, okay? During these two minutes. Uh, let me see if you're back. Yeah. Can you say something? Okay. Yeah, my battery is uh, recharged. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Okay, all good. Uh, so let me show you what you can win. Okay, we will display these three amazing posters. So behind me, okay, guess who is behind me? Ah, no, you can see. It's Mr. Oh, T. Mr. T. Mr. T, yeah. That's a funny thing because I've been thinking about the A team all the time when I see this stencil really? A, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So Mr. T, it's a poster that has been designed by Rob Generator III. He was in the chat with us a few minutes okay. ago. Designed by Njigwe, the swimming pool party, all designed live on Adobe Live. Nice. And then the travel tags by Christine Herring. So you will receive them in a beautiful format, A3, on beautiful paper. Uh, but we need to pick someone, and uh, I will receive a Slack message telling me the name of the winner. You see, it would be really amazing. Um, so let's get back to work, and uh, I will let you know when, when I have the, the name Exciting. of the happy. Chat and win. Winner. I need to learn how to pronounce it. Winner. PD the Fool. Yes. That's him. Yeah, the sparkling background will be back when I will announce who will receive the posters. Oh, I have a name. I have a name. Okay, we can come back to the fireworks. Maybe you want to read it. To oh, wow. Toby Adeyemo. <laughs> hey, Toby Adeyemo. Shout out okay. to Toby. Yeah, thanks for being with us. Thanks for chatting with us, Toby. Uh, we will contact you. We will receive a private message on Behance to exchange information, and you will receive these three amazing posters uh, by mail. Oh, Toby. Yeah, good job, Toby. 
Cool. And stay tuned. We will do more giveaways like this. We'll do another one uh, during the next show. Tomorrow we have other prizes, and this will be super fun. Yeah. Hey, Jesper. See you. Ah, <laughs> you have a friend in the chat? Yes, another, uh, another typeface animator. Ah, always good to have friends. Okay, so le let's give him a shout out. Uh, is he on uh, animography also? Yeah. Okay, let's share my screen. He made one of my favorite typefaces. Um, Which one did he animate? Uh, Okomito. So, so it starts with an H? It starts with an O. Ah, so Okomito. O Okomito. Yeah, that one. Whoa! And friction as well. But Okomito is super nice because it's a really nice workhorse typeface and he made a really vibrant um, motion system for it. And all these motion designers, they use the same methodology as you? Yep. They use controllers yep. and expressions? Yeah, it's, so it's a standardized um, You process. standardize the process. <laughs> also, you do great, uh, tra I mean, great video teasers. You know, this is all Jasper. This really? Yeah, he's, he's super talented. Wow, such a honor to have you uh, watching us. I mean, this is awesome. Yeah, it's one Good of my job. favorites. Jesper, here is a... Yeah, <laughs> nice font. <laughs> nice font, yeah. Good job. Okay, let's get back to After Effects. Yep. Now okay. I start understanding what is your process. Yeah, so um, you know, the cool thing if I uh, open up a new composition and if I duplicate a couple of times and drag it in. Let's go ahead a bit in time. <laughs> we have a Yuri Takashima asking those uh, Okomito is supposed to mean something. <laughs> Coming from a Japanese. Uh, Maybe Jesper can let us know. Well, Okomito is actually... Um, ah, you know what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Middle Eastern thing, I guess. But oh. It sounded so Japanese, yeah, it's and yet it's a uh, uh, concept for a Japanese uh, team. So we just went with it and um, just embraced the, em embrace the mystery of a word without meaning, but with a certain sound. So I see. It's, uh, it sounds Japanese, and that's yeah, why it's, it's that's pretty, funny. It's pretty empty, empty actually. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, okay, so what did you do now? In yeah, I just uh, copied uh, the, the three A a couple of times. And um, ah, you see want to show us that, yeah, it's yeah. random. Yeah, so each time oh. you have an A, it's... Uh, the, yeah, can the, you play? The, so we can see. It. Yeah, the, um, the position and... It's not exactly the same animation. No. Because you use random in the expression. Yeah. So this one is kind of the same. But if we duplicate it a couple of times more and replace it, can see that wow. really is different. See? So that's a really strong method, I think. To, yeah, that's uh, great, because when you have a full sentence, yeah, so, so you we won't feel that, oh, the, the repetitive motion. You need mm. to have some rhythm in there, but you don't want to see the same thing over and over again. Um, but this still is, um, kind of boring, but the fun thing is we can now, uh, for example, oh, that's not what I meant. Shut these off. And have just the wipe. Okay, so that's your... Yeah, or just a rotation okay. or just random exposition. So we can play with that a bit more. Um, but seeing these, in a sequence doesn't really do it for me, so let's uh, mm. complicate it a bit more. Okay. Um, and I will do so by adding another wipe. I'm actually gonna add another layer. Um, let's call this upper. Yeah, so if you know uh, programming, it's like creating variables, like global yeah. variables, actually. Exactly. Mm. That you call within uh, some properties of your After Effects layers. Which makes sense because I was like, oh my God, well, like, when I licensed all these uh, animated typefaces, I was like, I mean, how do they create uh, everything for all the alphabets, you know? And then I can change the color and stuff. Okay. Now I get it. 
that makes sense. So Crystal Show, good question. She's asking, is it true that this change is open until July? So actually, so today we invite you, you know, uh, to create a logo with the two typefaces um, that have been uh, recovered from uh, the house and redesigned by amazing artists under the direction of Eric Spickerman. Um, so if you share it on LB Live today, you can get a chance like uh, to be uh, selected by our guest and then get a one year pre flood subscription. If you didn't win, it's not over because uh, there is also a um, bigger challenge that is running, um, I think, the entire month of June. And you can share it on social and get a chance also to win amazing prizes, I think including a MacBook Pro. So there is a very big prize. Wow. Yeah. So you really should check that. I'm pretty sure the link is somewhere in the challenge tab. If not, we will put it in the chat. Uh, so make sure to design a logo now, share it with us using the change tab, uh, but then it's not over. Share it on social. And uh, yes, in, uh, Ina Melinda, it can be a logo for any company, so you can surprise us. Um, maybe you can find something that uh, resonates with Bauhaus, geometry, you know, maybe. I mean, if you look at the entries we had during the previous show, it was a, a brand for designers, brand for museums, could be anything. Okay, so now you are duplicating the layers, that's why it's now. Yeah, so I'm mm. adding another layer in the shape layer and it gets its own control. So there's an upper wipe and a lower wipe. So we can offset them a bit in time. Um, and it looks more like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like bent, you know, like it's a yeah. bent filling in the, the shape. And I want to add something in, I have an idea. Let's add a checkbox. So our controller starts to get really a bit complicated now, but uh, that's okay. Um, let's call it link mask position. That will do. Oh, nice. So usually when you create an animated typeface like this one, it's how many masks, you know, and layers you, you like to end, you know? Yeah, I like to end with a lot of flexibility. Okay. Um, but keeping everything as compact as possible because when you have a lot of characters for a really um, extended typeface, and there's a lot of expressions, it really slows your file down, so I try oh, to keep yeah. it at light weight. But it's always a trade-off between flexibility and, uh, and performance, I guess. Um, So what are you connecting now? Are you trying to yes, connect? Yes, I'm connecting the color. So no, that's I'm not I'm connecting the position of the lower oh, yes, wipe the to the position of the upper wipe. So yeah, if one layer is moving then the other one will move uh, with the same position. That's the goal. Um no, but <laughs> here we go. So now they come from different positions. Ah, the mask. Yeah. The and if I um, oh, that's nice. Uncheck this. It's uh, uh, it's, it's from one position. Okay, so you should check. Yeah. So, but if I check, so now it says link mask position and it's unlinked. So I need to um, change this to uh, one. Mm -hmm. And then it's reversed. Hmm, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other part. It's funny because if, if you take a steel frame actually, yeah. it also looks like a Bauhaus or, you know, or um, yeah, compositions from these days like Kandinsky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's this circular yeah. geometric, but with a bit of uh, jazz in there. 
Yeah. Um, so let's do the same for the other uh, one. So the lower one gets a treatment here. And Random what color. we will do in, uh, in about 15 minutes, we will uh, review some logos yeah. that were actually submitted during the previous show, but we didn't have the time to feature them. Okay. So stay tuned if you submitted your logo, we will definitely review uh, them. There were like nine logos where we didn't have the time, we received okay. a lot of entries. So we will start reviewing these nine uh, in about yeah, 13 minutes at the top of the hour. Okay, so now you're trying to, again, connect. Uh, yeah. Let's see if this works. Okay, so what were you trying to do? You're trying to yeah. So the um, the, the the right part of the of the A, the, the skinny part now has the same uh, treatment. So there's an orange uh, part going before the green part. Okay. And if I uncheck this, it comes from a different position. Oh, different positions. Yeah. And so which one do you prefer? Um, unlinked, and I think I also. Um, Going to set everything to green on the upper part and and the same color on the yeah and, and lower part. Create some new colors for the lower, so you have a more festive oh, I see. beginning, and then it ends in a it's clean yeah. yeah. Consistent. So it's 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 not all over the place mm. and not too much of a circus. <laughs> so. Um, there is a question from Tima for you. Uh, someone who is just getting into After Effects, uh, what do you think they should learn first? You know, like um, yeah. Um, depends on what you want to do, I guess. Uh, if you want to do character animation or more motion graphic design or VFX, uh, After Effects is such a, a versatile program. Yeah, so it's good to have like a, a goal in mind, like yeah, a project in mind. Yeah, I actually learned more from the VFX side with Video oh. Copilot. Oh yeah, Video Copilot. I was never in, 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 VFF, in VFX, but it was really nice to, um, you know, just get acquainted with the software and uh, the way you present it was really nice. But there's so many uh, good uh, learning sources uh, out there right now, so <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it, it yeah. Really depends on, on what you're after. But the basic tools I would say are uh, how to create shape, how to import assets, and then get familiar, Tima, with uh, the timeline, keyframes. So now, like, um, everyone is working on the timeline, you see, and for each one layer is a, a composition or a set of objects. And if you open the layer, you will see here all the properties. Uh, so, usually we start with the position, uh, then rotation, opacity, like the basic properties just to move around the layers. And yeah, that's how I would start. Uh, so, Yadira is uh, quoting also Video Copilot, School of Motion, yeah, amazing uh, place for resources. Only a good thing to save. <laughs> Um, yeah, pro tip. Yeah, pro tip. Save. That's what you should start with. <laughs> Saving. Save. Uh, let's see. Okay, can we see how it looks now? Like if you yeah. if you preview the... So this is what it looks like. Okay. And um, I'm going to do another trick to make it typable. <clears throat> what is typable? 
Yeah, so you can type it. Oh. So I'm just going to reload this to make sure it's in there. So here is the Xans typeface, which is yeah. here. Um, in the setup, I'm going to add Kernia metrics. Select ooh, original position. Select the A. So what is the AFM? What is this? Yeah, that's um, done already. It's not done. Right, now so it's done. <laughs> um, what this does is um, it takes all of the kerning data from the original font. And oh. So kerning, maybe you can explain what this is. Yeah, so it's, it's the, diff, the distance between each uh, character and there are certain um, kerning pairs like the, the, the A here. And uh, if you put it next to a V, it puts it next to each other and yeah, tucks it in a bit. The space would be, so, um, would be thinner. Yeah, but so you don't get a big white space yeah. uh, and everything is proportional. And um, Font Manager can actually extract all the kerning data from a typeface and uh, store wow. it in a, a comp here. So that's awesome. Because that's, yeah, so like most of the most of the people they don't realize that uh, when you license a typeface, you know, and you have like a OTF car like file, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't only contain the design, the shapes of each character. It mm -hmm. has no. much more information, yeah. including uh, the kerning, so which space is uh, ideal. Uh, between each character and each combination, combination of characters. So, so it's not just like after my A, I want uh, 20 pixels. No, it will depend on what is next, as you said. Yeah. Uh, also, you can have uh, uh, alternates. So uh, for one character, like uh, several shapes, several designs, and you can have ligatures. So if you yeah. have uh, F and I, which is the most famous one, then. Um, don't display the F and the I, but use this other character, which is in my character set. Um, so, and yeah. that's why um, it takes so long to design a typeface. Yeah, definitely, and um, equally long to, to animate it. <laughs> and then, yeah, to animate and, it. And uh, font manager can can actually handle uh, also um, uh, alternates. So, oh. it's, yeah, wow. and, and alternates in animation could be. The same design, but a different, oh, a different animation. animation. Wow, that's um, awesome. So that's that also brings a new dynamic to to typography in general, um, because you can you you cannot only play with um, certain weights, but also uh, combine a longer, more elaborate animation with the same design, but with a quicker, uh, more minimal animation. Instead of weights, you can add complexity in, in in type and create layers and hierarchy with that. So. To me, that's really interesting. So now it's 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 typable, and I can type a few A's if all is right, and let's um, offset them by two frames. Center it. Fingers crossed. Wow, it's making a lot of calculation. Yeah, and there and are. And then you A's. have four A's. Ah, oh, okay. So that's what you mean by right text. Yeah. Oh let's my God. get it up. I wasn't aware of this. Uh, I was drag and, drop, drag and dropping each character. Yeah, so that's that's the manual method, and um, we can actually also, uh, yeah, use this to uh, so much, automate yeah, everything. So much better. Yeah. So if I'm now uh, previewing this, you see the random uh, rotation. Yeah. And we could also have the 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 vibe coming in from random. Spots would, would be nice, but um, it's a bit more complicated. I don't know if we have time for that. Mm -hmm. But the thing here is that we now can um, take this and maybe get rid of the rotation altogether. It looks like this. And maybe get rid of the Y position. And it then only scales on the on the X oh, value. Nice. So I think it's really nice to um, start with a big system first. Yeah. Um, so you have a lot of uh, possibilities to make something really extravagant, and then you can always um, make it more 
clean by just um, yeah, yeah toning it down and maybe set this to zero. And we have a really yeah, have something yeah, very yeah, classy. Super super clean. Mm -hmm. And let's ramp up the tracking a bit so they don't touch. Yeah, tracking is the space between yeah. each character. Mm -hmm. So this is this is kind of um, my approach. Um, okay, you try it. So you start crazy. Yeah, I, a lot I, of flexibility. I, yeah, I colors think and of stuff. a system with a lot of flexibility, and then um, in the end, um, when you use it in, uh, in in your motion graphics, you can always make it more subdued, more subtle. Um, this is cool. Yeah. Someone in mentioning was uh, also in the chat was mentioning this project. Uh, the Gilbert phone, maybe we can show it on my screen. Yeah. Uh, so were you involved in this project? Definitely. Yeah, so maybe you can explain what this is. Um, well, Gilbert Baker... Can we Baker, see my screen? Yeah, Gilbert Baker is the designer of the, of the rainbow flag. Ah, yeah. Um, that we can see here, like uh, for yeah. Pride. Mm -hmm. for, the, for, for Pride and... Um, uh, to uh, honor his legacy, they um, uh, made a typeface, and uh, oh, okay. this is uh, by uh, Type It Pride mm -hmm. and uh, Fontself and Newfest. Yeah, our friends of uh, Fontself. Yeah, they were yeah. live with us. Yeah, amazing, mm. amazing software. And um, so, did you animate stuff? If I play the video, or yeah, ah, that was you. I mean, I not know, this. I don't know if this is the, the video <laughs> I made. But I saw this and I, I this oh, looks what? like an anamography, your... anamography font to begin with. Where can I see your there's, animation? There's a link to the animated version somewhere. Oh, so this, oh, is, yeah. this is what you did. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it looks like a, a subway, a metro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's trains, so you know, like. So um, I reached out to them and said, well, this <laughs> just to has, has to be animated. <laughs> um, which would be cool with that. So I teamed up with them and um, I created this uh, system based on these uh, strokes, and uh, it's free. You can you can download it. The full version is free. Awesome. And uh, yeah, it's 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 really really fun to uh, play around with. Another super, free uh, typeface yeah, today. Super ge super uh, geometric and um, really well designed. Um, and also, if you just have it in a single flat color, um, yeah. it's still super nice. And oh, even if it's a uh, yeah, black on white, uh, lowercase, yeah. and it's. Uh, it's all there. So do play around with that. Awesome, thanks. Um, so let's get... Yeah, let's get back to After Effects. Yes. There we go. Um, let's see if we can easily... animate some more characters. No, I don't want that. Let's organize this a bit better. So yeah, so you animated the the A, and uh, let's say you want to animate, uh, I don't know, like, a, which one do you want to do? Um, well, I think I'm gonna do at least the, the Bauhaus character. It's a B. So the next is a B. A B. Okay. So, but can you reuse oh. uh, expressions or? Yeah, I can reuse most of controllers it. Controllers that you created for the A. Yeah. So let's uh, let's see what I can reuse. Should probably uh, be Mario Spizis is uh, downloading uh, Gilbert one. Cool. Hi nice. Uduva, good to see you. Hi Mel. Tima says very cool project. Yeah, the Gilbert one. Yeah, beautiful campaign. And so it was our friends of uh, yeah Fontself, and Fontself is a plugin for Illustrator and Photoshop where you can um, design um, anything you want with colors. Um, shapes and uh, say, okay, actually this design is my A, this design is my B, this is my C, my D. So you create your entire alphabet, uppercase, lowercase, um, and you ask font self directly in Illustrator and Photoshop. You just drag and drop your shapes in a huge uh, matrix, in a huge table, and then you ask font self generate the typeface, and boom, you have a file. So not animated, but you have a file that after you, like a OTF file that you can install, send by email to someone, and you can use in uh, all the Creative Cloud uh, desktop apps, but not only Creative Cloud, in uh, 
PowerPoint like anything. It really becomes a real typeface. And how much is font self? I would say uh, maybe 49. I don't know. Yeah, 50 dollars, 50 euros. It's too cheap. Yeah, right? Definitely. We should uh, call our hands and say, hey, it's too cheap. Uh, it's an amazing project. 49? Ah, oh, you see? It's not even 50. 49. Yeah, font self. We will uh, maybe put the link in the chat. Someone will find a link to font self. I'm sure Tim is on it. So what what do you copy paste between yeah, the, so I'm gonna the copy A and the B? The expression of first reposition the anchor points. Yeah, so that's the weird thing with uh, After Effects is that the anchor point like, could be anywhere except in the center of the shape, right? Yeah, unless you have a... Unless you have a script. So you, you have reposition it. anchor point. I have another one by Animation Composer, but it does the same. Yeah, yeah. I, I use... Um, Move anchor point also, also it's a free script. A, a, a lines creator okay. uh, has it built in, but it's made to... Uh, it's a script to make a line between two points. Super nice script as well, old one, still works. So the anchor point, if you don't know what this is, is really the point of reference, especially when you do rotations. Okay, so if you put it, like if you have a square and you put your anchor point in the corner, then this is this will be the rotation point. If you put it in the center, then it will rotate. You know. um, so I guess when you animate typography, you have to, you like to have your anchor point in the center. I guess yep. it's less confusing. Yeah, for me, for this, it's, it's going to be the, the random rotation should be from the center. It's it's purely for the rotation value here, in and this we case. We have a Keva Ipale watching and saying this type is gorgeous. So actually, you can get it now, Keva, okay? The link is in the challenge tab. This is a phone that we revealed uh, yesterday, available for free for everyone on Typekit. It's called Zens, and uh, this is a font inspired by the design of Bauhaus, and real Bauhaus designer in the 20s, but unfortunately uh, with uh, they were so innovative, you know, so disruptive and so creative that it became a threat for the Nazi uh, government, uh, which they shut down Bauhaus, basically. Yeah? And this school with amazing designers and um, teachers. Um, and so it was lost. Actually, it was just buried in the archives. And uh, thanks to the work that Adobe did with the uh, uh, Bauhaus Foundation, and we brought them to life. Oh, and we have Philip Trunkman joining. He's in the building. He will be our guest in about one hour, working in Adobe XD. So today they have a lot of apps. Huh? We had uh, Katerina working in Illustrator. You work in After Effects with a jumping bee. I see that. I oh, like yeah. the jump. It's like two legs, you know? I like it. What you do yeah. here. Yeah. It's almost a walk cycle. Yeah. Um... And Philippe, we work in XD. And they will all work with these uh, amazing typefaces. So, yeah. I know, team, I know. I didn't forget. We will review some logo. But I'm waiting for the French Paco to come back to the computer. So you know, when we are live uh, from San Francisco, we have a studio mm -hmm. manager, his name is, his nickname is Paco. Paco. So here we have Frank. So you need to find a nickname for Frank in the that, chat. That's the challenge. We need a French Paco, but you need to find him a nickname. So Frank, we will switch to my screen very briefly because I want to review with you yep. some logos. So that's part of the challenge. And these are the reviews. We didn't have the time, unfortunately, to review them during the first show. That's okay? now. And at the end of the show, we'll review also the ones submitted during this show. So for instance, this one, Christopher Davis. Oh, it's like a, a man, no? It's a mom With wearing, two, hands wearing two grocery wearing, bags. Or two drops. Oh, grocery bags. Yeah, I yes. like it. Like it could be for a supermarket. supermarket logo. Yeah. And that's using uh, yeah, one of the characters. 
with a cute drops. Good job. Ryan Nelson, okay, more working on the composition, yep. poster. Combining both uh, uh, typefaces. Yeah, also duplicating here to add some shadow, but also some becomes a little bit vibrant. Yeah, Miami colors. Mm -hmm. From the 90s. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, this is very clean. Hey, I like it because it's strong, like it's directly yeah. speaking to us, like, hey. And it's a, it's a stamp, it's like a real original yeah. brand mark by uh, Prince Sama, by a Prince. Yeah, and then it says, eh. Oh, oh nice that's good well. too, that's yeah. good too. Bauhaus, I like the very good idea of like. Yeah, the line, the, the, the negative space in the, the A and the U. It's by awesome. uh, Yuri Takashima. She was chatting actually, she's here. Oh. Yuri, she's the one asking like, yeah. what was the meaning of, uh, what was this word, Okiki? Oh, or, yes. She was like, I'm Japanese, I don't understand what you're talking about. Very nice. Uh, I like also like simple ideas such as here, adding some space yeah. so you're not confused that this is a B, this is an yeah. H. And this is the same with this uh, negative space. It's, yeah. it's really, really well thought out. Awesome. My favorite so far. Ah. But there will be more at the end, no? Yeah. And here we have Fred Trongli. Uh, and thanks for uh, giving a tribute to uh, Xanti Sherinsky who designed uh, the foundry that designed I know uh, this typeface, XS, okay, also playing like, uh, you know, with uh, what is in the background, in the foreground. Yeah. That's nice. It looks like actually a logo you could see in the luxury industry or something, you know? Yeah. And Lisa Kern, she's back. She has the best last name oh, ever. Yeah. Nice. And it says, Kunstlerhaus, oh, maybe you know what it is. Kunstlerhaus Stuttgart. So it's a house, it's a... House in Stuttgart? Art, art house. Or oh, maybe construction? Yeah. No. No, I think it's, it's art. Ah, it's art. Yeah. Okay. And I love oh, construction is actually Bauhaus. Yeah. Bauhaus means house of construction. Okay, so it's and art. I, love, I also love a bit of uh, the style in there. Yeah. Only our colors. Yeah, super nice. Works with the type as well beneath it. Uh, Jacqueline is working on design Bauhaus. And uh, yeah, like just these shapes extracted from the, you know, like this here and here yeah. from these typefaces, they are so uh, strong, you know, can really play with them. Um, okay, so be careful also when you extract shapes and when you want to play like this, like does it add a meaning, you know, like does it really, like when you do work with branding. Yeah, and I think it's, it's it poses a slight uh, problem with readability of the U on the, on the darker. Yeah. Which can work if this shape adds something, like yeah. if it's another character that yeah. makes sense for this. But from uh, just a wow. graphic nice. standpoint, okay, Thomas Bircher. Yeah, love it. Well, can you read this? Quartier am Kirchplatz. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Quartier Q. Um, K. Oh, that's okay here. Yeah, and it's, and it's, the P. it's like that's nice. trees or something. Ah, okay. Oh, that's a, okay. Wow. So at least that's what I see. That's that's it. yeah. Maybe it's for a park. And then the last one that we couldn't review during the first show. Good bean review. Oh, that's funny because actually mm, it kind of work. You know, this could this yeah. stencil aspect. You know, I can yeah. see it on a bag of coffee. Definitely. Um, that could work, and it's funny because it really has not been designed for this. You, know, you can tell, but wow, it's. Yeah, thanks for surprising us with all these ideas because it's crazy to see how with only two typefaces you come up with these ideas of logos. Uh, okay, we'll get back to these ones at the end of the yep. show and also discover the new ones submitted during the show, okay? Cool. And we yeah. have to pick one. I have a couple, I have a couple of favorites. Ah, ah, don't, no. not, not, we'll see at the not, end of the show. Okay, um, I think I did the B already. Really? Okay, Yeah. play it, preview it. So you're just copy-pasting the stuff? Yeah, copy-pasting the, wow, okay. the expressions. Oh, yeah, like, it's like two legs, someone jumping in the air. Yeah. So now we should be able to... Oh, Ari, she's in the chat. Yes, Ari, they are aware. There will be more typefaces soon. Um, so today, yeah, we, you know, we released uh, yesterday uh, yep. two typefaces. There is more coming. Actually, if you visit the website, adobehiddentreasures.com, we say how many typefaces you will get, but it's getting more and more. Hi, Ari. 
I really would be super excited by all these amazing logos already created by our friends watching Adobe Live uh, using these two typefaces. It's just, um, it's amazing. Ah, Olivier, thanks for watching. Baba. Yeah, now we can type Baba. Or okay, we can up, type up. Baba. Does it mean up, up. Uh, right, something in Dutch or? No. It's baba? Just no, it's just Baba. Two letters. Baba or Rom. We only have the B and the A. It's a pastry, it's a cake. Yeah. A baba or Rom, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's a Baba. A Baba. Baba. It's Actually, also in Dutch, Baba means like, oh. Like, like mm. Burke. Yeah. Burke. Baba. Baba. Or maybe Abba. We can do Abba, yeah. Yeah, we can do Abba. Yeah, very. It's not far caught. What's Baba? Oh, people going crazy. What's Baba? Baba? I don't it's know. It's nothing. It's it's a cake. Okay, type Abba, so Abba. they get it. Okay, Abba. Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of this. <laughs> so we use a font manager again. So yeah. Abba, and we use the only two characters animated today. The only Swedish band <laughs> so we can far. type so far. Yeah. <laughs> so. Here we go. Wow. Uh, so good. It's like animated album art. Yeah, okay. and everyone is singing <laughs> their favorite. Okay, let us know what is your favorite song. Abba. I'm not a big fan of Abba. Do you have a favorite song? Uh, I guess it's Waterloo. <laughs> if I have to pick one. Yeah. Do you one have one? Waterloo is the only one that comes to mind. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm such a, yes, such a bad fan of Abba. Uh, okay. oh, there must be a, let us know what is your favorite favorite song. I'm sure it, there are more titles. All of them make trouble. Which one? Uh, we only know Waterloo. Call of My Name by The Weeknd. No, no, by ABBA. We say, no. What is your favorite song by ABBA? Not <laughs> by The Weeknd. Okay, you're working on the H. Yeah, let's see if we so can. I see what you have in mind uh, now. And H is giving a slight so issue because it's... H, it's one shape. It's one shape. So how would you do that? Yeah, we're gonna... Um, you have to split the shape? Yeah, we have to split the shape. Hi, hi, hi. Dancing so, Queen. Of Thank course. Thank you, Tom. Dancing Queen. That's my favorite. Now it's down. That's my new favorite. So... Got all the way to Paris for an Adobe live stream <laughs> to, dis to discuss my favorite other song. Yeah. Love it. So I'm gonna chop this up into. Money, money, parts. money. Okay, now we have all the titles. That's good. Take a chance on me. Yes. Okay, now we're good. Thanks. We're back on track. We're so lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mamma Mia, okay, okay. So, so far you can animate the ABBA logo. Yep. Oh, and you can animate a uh, logo for a pastry, like a Baba or Rum. We have also uh, uh, the biggest TV show in France, the main uh, anchorman or the presenter, you know? Yeah. His nickname is Baba, so you can also... Okay. Yeah. Contribute so you can get some jobs in France between the Baba Ram and the TV show with just two characters. Okay, if we add the H, what can we do? Ba. Haba. I don't know. Anything we could do with H, A, and B that would make sense? Not sure. I can do <laughs> Getting somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we go. So, rotation. Can you refresh the gallery because they still have 15 minutes to submit new logos. Oh my God, there are so many new logos. Oh, it's insane, it's insane. We have a yeah. lot of logos to review at the end of the show. You will see. Okay. Crazy stuff. They are so creative mm -hmm. today. And again, you submit the logo for Adobe Live, and don't forget to share it on social. Okay, check the rules because you can win a MacBook Pro. It's crazy. Can I think I? there's even a bigger prize where they will. Uh... Can I enter? Yeah, yeah. No, you should. 
We have some time left. Thursday. I think also we will pick like a grand prize, you know, winner, and you can um, visit Bauhaus uh, Foundation or something. Oh, really? Yeah, I need to check your rules. In but Berlin. There, is, there are like amazing prizes. Ah, team is saying, yeah, you can win a trip to uh, this. So, I mean, it's, it's awesome. Crazy challenge. Oh, thank you for the link, uh, Rudeva. Yeah, make sure to check this link by Voodooval and uh, check how you can participate also in the biggest, the bigger challenge. Yeah, MacBook Pro. Seriously? So Insane. cool. Uh, here are the shapes again before they become yeah. masks. So I'm just gonna let them grow from whatever point and just make sure that the first one is uh, the edge is near an edge of the type as so ah, yes, for yes. the easing it's yeah it goes all the way to the edge. Awesome. Uh, Taryn, how do we send the logos? Check the challenge tab. Okay, so if Taryn, if you, you are on behance.net slash live, it's perfect. There is a chat tab, info and challenge. Everything, all the details are in the change tab. Oh, there are some very funny logos. So, Toby, if you participate in this challenge during this show, you submit your logo, and uh, if, uh, yeah, if, uh, it depends on him, actually. If Yaron, like, selects your logo, you will get a one-year credit card subscription. Mm -hmm. If you're already a credit card member, it will extend your membership, you know, adding one year, so. Very good deal, you'll be, like, super creative for one more year. Yes, Benoit, we need your logo during the show. But if you want to participate in the bigger challenge, you have more time, I think, on social. If you share it on the social networks, you have more time. Okay, what's going on? What is the challenge here? Um, so I'm doing the wipe for all segments. So the wipe is your mask that will yep. reveal the shape. And I have to set it to alpha mat and yep. So now we have an in animation. Mm. But because I copied, um, we actually have a couple of different colors for the upper, upper part yes. and the lower part. But because I um, copied everything, we need to. Uh, Jazz it up a little bit. I'm just gonna type color in here so we only get stuff we need. And because the, the upper part is one, yeah. um, one shape, I'm gonna leave the uh, upper, upper segments all parented to the same color control so we don't have the uh, edges there. And for the lower ones, I'm just gonna manually Randomize the input. So now we should have all the different colors. Wow. Nice. I think I still need to do that for the B as well. Um, but first, parent the wipes to the characters. So Ariel Blanco is asking Hey guys, can you critique my Behance page? Actually, this is something we'll do on Thursday. So make sure to be back on uh, Thursday in two days because we won't uh, have a challenge. On Thursday, we will do the hands part of your reviews. So we review your portfolios, especially if you're a motion designer, even better if you animate typography. Then uh, you will get some uh, live feedback, appreciations, uh, advice from uh, your own.
good. You have an H? I have an H. Okay, we should type something. Yeah, should yeah. we? Okay, let's type, go. Uh, Bahaha. <laughs> oh, it's close to Bauhaus. We're getting there. Yeah. Bauhaus. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Two frames apart. Wow, it's... Boom. Ah, it's almost like uh, Bahamas. Bahamas, yes. Almost. Is that where the next live feed is uh, streamed from? <laughs> so let's just... Yeah, uh, let's preview it to see how it feels. Oh, nice. It's so alive. That's fun, right? Yeah. Very and if good. we um, zoom out a bit, center it a bit more. And just let's do something really crazy. So, wh which parameter are you changing now? Yeah, the the position. Yeah, it used to be like very rotation. confined, you know, yeah. and, and now you want to you want the typeface to explore the position, yeah. right? As an explosion. Wow, look at that. So that's that's very good too. Kind of weird, but fun. Yeah, I like it. Don't know why it reminds reminds me on uh, old. Uh, like Tex Avery cartoons, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. We have seven minutes, people watching, to submit your portfolio during this segment. We start reviewing, uh, sorry, submit your logos. We start reviewing more logos in about seven minutes. I think I didn't mean it to. But I think we can also use it to create an out animation. So let's try and... So out uh, animation, so they can disappear? Yeah, if we uh, just time reverse everything. The keyframes, it will work? Yeah. Whoa! And maybe we should, yeah, should do like minus. So it goes the other way around. And we don't have the exact And this should also reverse. Time reverse keyframes. Okay. Oh. Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. You. Yeah. You. Yeah. That's fun, right? That's good. Huh? But. Um, that looked better when it was a bit more modest. And now they realize the work, you know, when they license uh, a typeface on animography. <laughs> yeah, so there's <laughs> Because a lot you have to do it for all the uppercases, yeah. all the lowercase, numbers. And that's a lot of work. But it's fun to create a system and then play around with it and see what it does. Yeah. Oh, Tima says this is very beautiful. Thanks for the nice feedback. So that's fun. Um, on to the U. Okay, so if we get the hue in time, you can yeah. write Bauhaus, that's it? No, there's an S in Bauhaus. Oh crap, there is an S. You can yes. write Bauhaus? I can write Bauhaus. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Want to do okay, some so more? Uh, is it one shape or two shapes? Oh, you have two shapes it's already. two yeah? shapes, yes. Okay, so you, you will be okay. You want to do some more uh, reviewing? In Logos the in five minutes. So you, you it, five it minutes? should give, uh, give you five minutes to animate okay. the video. Let's try it. Can do that.
and tomorrow we'll be back, okay, same time. Uh, and uh, so you will animate the other typeface? Yeah. Okay, same style or different technique or uh, what do you want to do Different style, different technique. Everything, everything same different. Same principles. Okay. But um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's a different typeface. So it calls for a different okay. animation. Awesome. Um, rotates. All right, now more logos coming. You know, it's always the same. You know, at the last minute, they're like, yes, oh, of yeah. course. Simon says, wow, After Effects look very complex. So it can be. Uh, so I would say that After Effects is maybe one of the most complex tools in Creative Cloud. If you wanted to. Yeah. If you wanted to. But as everything, uh, I think that uh, you're saying something very cool, which is have a project in mind. You know, that's where you find motivation too. You know, like, so if you want to animate a logo or typography, then you will take a direction with After Effects to learn step by step how to make something, uh, or a visual effect, you yeah. know, like lens flare. And also this process didn't come overnight. I used to uh, yeah. just animate everything with keyframes by hand. And, um, and you need to start yeah. with this, like if you want to learn. You need yeah. to learn uh, how to animate uh, by hand, frame by frame, uh, and then using keyframes. And uh, after, I guess, so when, when did you start uh, learning uh, expressions? Um, I don't know. But it was on the first week, I guess. Not on the no. first week, definitely <laughs> not. I was always kind of afraid of expressions, like most people are. Okay. Um, are you a developer or not at all? No, no, not at all. Okay, so it's that's why good. that's why it scared me. It's good but to see that a designer can actually yeah. use expressions. Yeah, definitely because. Quite easy, and I, I learned from the Dan Everts website. You probably know him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Motionscript.com. Oh, motionscript.com. He's a man. Um, and it's 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 a super old website, but oh, yeah. um, oh, let me show it on the screen because it's too funny. <laughs> it's a classic. It shouldn't yeah. change. So if we can uh, share my screen, uh, Frank. I think this website is from uh, 1996. As you yep. can see, but and it has and some this really is how good you learn expressions. This is this. That's I funny. still uh, find myself going back to this to um, reference it from his expressions and. Um, oh, 2012. Oh. Uh, okay. But the design could be yeah. from 1996. But uh, <laughs> the realistic bounce and overshoot, I use it a lot. Ah, okay. Because um, yeah, maybe I can share. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's great. That's, uh, Let's do something fun. Okay, let's go back to After Effects. So, motion. Frank, we can uh, go back to After Effects. Com. We need a nickname for Frank. Huh? Connection is not private. Ah. Okay. Show details. Okay. Yeah. Visit the website. Do you understand the risks the risk involved? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's your... Uh, it's my computer, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I don't care about the risks. Oh my God! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything's gonna be. Everything's gonna crash and burn. <laughs> so um, this is the overshoot. We need to bounce. So Chris is using two player, uh, two plugins. Thanks for joining us. It's a font manager, right? It was the first yeah. one. And the second one is a key. No, what's the, the other plugin you're using in After Effects is? Oh, it's uh, it's reposition anchor points, keysmith, key Smith. and rift to uh, offset keyframes oh, key and frames, to stagger uh, yeah. stuff. Um, let's get rid of this and uh, maybe. Really quick. 
So this is in the um, controller of the typed words. And let's see if this does something. No, it does not. <laughs> yeah, it, I'll maybe those. Yeah, it there does. is bounce. There is huh? bounce. Yeah, there is there bounce. Is bounce. It's it very subtle, be, but there is bounce. And does I need I need more? Let's go like super Ooh. overboard just to explain what it does. Oh yeah, there is bounce now. The only so. Not really bounce, not really <laughs> Bauhaus, but definitely uh, Tex Avery. Yeah. So it's fun. So you can also apply um, expressions afterwards, you know, to uh, change the change the look. And so, it's time to submit the logos. Yep. Okay. So, do you want to review some logos now? Yep. Let's How are we with the U? Is it over? Maybe I can let you finish um, the U. I think it is. Okay. Now. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, let's just play the U, just make sure it works. Okay, here we go. Very classy also. The same uh, jumping legs, like the yep. H. Yep. Okay, so we change you today to create uh, logos or brands, identities, using the two typefaces that we shared with you on Typekit, inspired by Bauhaus designers. So. Um, we already reviewed nine in the mm -hmm. middle of the show, um, and uh, we discover some new ones. Ready? I'm just making sure. A lot of new ones. Wow, so many new ones. Okay. Let's start with this one by Sal Lipman. Oh, that's a bit hard to see, but... Yeah, with yeah. some contrast nice. here. Yeah, okay. good job. It reminds me also of the color of Spain. I don't know why I think about Spain when I see this. Colors, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ufuk, oh, oh, nice, interesting. Nice. Ufuk, uh, Sakmak. So this, this is, is his initials, definitely. Yeah. With, uh, With the city. City, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like an animal too, you know? Yeah, like a, a bird. A bird. Yeah. Bird of paradise, yeah. yeah. The beak. It's great. Eye. Nice. Ben uh, Bauhaus this. So, okay, playing yeah. with uh, some layers and uh, the a pattern here with the A and the U. Okay, yep. interesting. Looks like a flag also. I like this shape. Very nice. Simon, okay, that's the alphabet. And here is ink pad. Okay. Nice choice of colors. Dennis, oh, Dennis is working on a poster. Nice. Logo, but nice. It's not a logo. A yeah. poster is not a logo, but yeah, nice. But nice. Oh, okay, yes. got it, Dennis. Yes. Conceptual. Yeah, <laughs> very conceptual. <laughs> Design. Oh, like this. Wow. So it goes in a curly. Yeah, right? Yeah. Here. Raza Shah. Raza Shah. It's more like, uh, what do you read? RB. It's also a bit of the, the finger. Oh, MB. It could be a middle finger. Yeah. yeah. After very provocative. Raza. But it's it's clean. It's yeah. a nice shape. It works well. Oh, funny. Kevai Pali. Oh, the we seer. came with the eyes this year. Yeah, it would be better if the if the um, horizontal uh, negative space would be the uh, exact same, same as the as vertical here. one. Yeah. It's Respect a good idea, a good concept, you know? It's like the grid. You just have a, a few minutes to create oh, and share yeah. it. And so. This is nice. Not art. Nice okay, Bjorn Schmidt, yeah. I like how the T fills up the gap of the R. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see if you can extend it. Like it's a bit floating here, but you can I think so. oh, make a yeah. square. Oh. oh, that works. I think there's an imaginary yeah. square plus. Yeah, the, there is an imaginary square. I agree. Yeah, plus the the the, the white funny. space in between there. Because then the negative space is almost like drawing another world. You see, yeah. almost like an A. And I like how the, the negative space between the le of uh, inside the letters yeah. is, is, uh, is aligned, aligned with, uh, with this space one. between the letters. In here That's too. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice grid. Very nice. Did Marlier? Okay. U times U two. U times two. U times, times two. two. That's nice. And the I is a, is a person, obviously. And the, yeah, the Y and the I. Y and Y, yeah. kind of. Uh, Nice. Vertical ligature. 
vertical link linkage. That's <laughs> that's new. Just that's created by Edith yes. Mar. Yes, awesome. Love it. Pamela Kinemora. Okay. Oh, okay. Definitely in the bow style, like very old. It could be a tile or something. Yes. Or, um, or like a physical element. You know, pH like two in the chart of elements. Yeah. That could be interesting to have the full uh, table of elements, like just referring uh, uh, design schools or design trends. That could be a good idea. Yeah. For a, for a super nice pause or so something. So that's a very light element, only two atoms. <laughs> <laughs> Omar Acero. Joseph. Oh, 3D. Oh, yeah. With a, a board. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice composition. Bitcoin? Is it Bitcoin or oh, bringing you the world? Okay. Yeah, like become global, maybe. Become become global. Oh, become. Yes. More it's conceptual. So confusing. Become global. I see. Yeah. Opoco. It's nice because you can also flip yeah. it. Let's I was waiting for Oppo though. You know the travel okay. agency. Like oh, yeah. here, and then, you can, and then you have Oppo though, and yeah. then you can reverse it. Yeah. And yeah, there's a name for for that, which I don't can recall. Ah, I know. I understand why you know this designer was uh, inspired by coffee beans, because the yeah. O looks like a coffee bean. Yeah. It makes sense. Oh, oh what's happening B here? Age. Hmm, like Bauhaus. Yeah. Yeah. Bauhaus. And I like because if you. Also rotate it, it can look like um, a building, like it's really architecture in this case, yeah. you know, with the arc. Hmm. Yeah, that's very nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that's yeah. nice too, Tima. Primary colors work mm -hmm. every time. So R RB. RB, I guess, yeah. Very nice. Disha, okay, again. It's the same person? Oh, I hope. Yeah, it's yeah. the same. Yeah, it's really interesting, this. Like, I uh, really see architecture right away. That's great. Mark Walter, oh. Format function. Yeah, inspired function. also by yeah. old... Um, Love like the M percent in the, in the Fs. In the 45 degrees rotation, like uh, yeah. in Bauhaus uh, exhibition posters, actually. Yeah. Form and function. I'm gonna use that to it, I think. The person is uh, well, really well done. Yeah. Really, really well done. With some texture added. Wow, that's impressive. It's a great, it's a great typeface. It. Yeah. So playful, so graphic. Uh, Tiana. Okay. I want to see DB. Yeah. Uh, We can Easy. see something else that we yeah. won't mention. I no, 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 wasn't going there, but no, no. Um, uh, okay, so this mm -hmm. yeah, is breaking my heart a bit. The stretching of the curves. Uh, I think it's it's super nice if we because we saw that in the previous stream as well that somebody um, stretched uh, stretched yes. it. Mm -hmm. But I think you should stretch it from the straight parts and respect the. Um, fully round curves, then it would be really nice to have the, um, yeah, the layered feel. Okay. Oh yeah, Simon says these are uh, headphones, your ear oh, yeah. earplugs. Yeah, that's exactly what we had in mind, yeah. Simon. Of course. Earplugs, yeah. Uh, Selwyn Pascal, hidden, hidden treasures, treasures bars to so. Okay. Reminds me of the Sydney Opera House. Yeah, right. Um, and sharks. And sharks, yeah. So I see like the dynamic that you want to input cell in, but maybe actually it could be a good idea. Oh, and there is a glitch, sorry, uh, but that's red. Uh, so oh, yeah. it could be a good idea like for the shape in the background to represent, um, like Bauhaus is also um, emblematic building, you know, so yeah. take some pieces of architecture to put it in the background because I feel that this shape like looks great to add like some dynamic, but Maybe there is a lack of meaning. Ah, uh, what is this company? I've heard of this. Have you heard of this startup? No, what is it? 
I don't know. We should check. That's cool. I mean, yeah. But it's it's not original fun, right? It, it's not original. It's a mix. Cheese. No, yeah, yeah no, it's a. I think that Bruno in this case extracted yeah. some shapes and. Uh, nice. Yeah. Nice to uh, give your own spin to it. And that's that. That's fun, actually. Diana. Okay, so let's go back to this background. Oh, it's mainstream media. Hard ah. to see, but that's mainstream media. All ah, right, and then didn't, didn't catch that. With a rainbow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. Frederic. Nice. Seems classy. Teus. Oh. What did you say? T E H. Choose. Or, oh, choose. choose. Oh, yeah, choose. Why is it uh, choose? It's like my in German, right? Yeah, it's something in German, right? Choose. Why is it choose? Fee? Yeah, it's my choose. Ah, choose. Like ciao. Ciao. Ciao, choose. Okay. It's good to have German people in the studio. Definitely. Always useful. Super international. Choose. Yeah, looks good. Like, yeah. a, could be a nice tag on the, you know, on a T-shirt or something. Yeah. I can. Yeah. I like how it, how it works. Claire Cross. Swords. Swords. Okay. And this, I'm not sure what's going on here, but maybe because she, outline. maybe Claire thought that it looks like a blade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But so the curve like a, maybe. That's yeah. what inspired Claire. Salut, Claire. She says salut. Salut. Maybe choose. Means salut. <laughs> Type, Type playground. playground. Yeah. Okay, so like yeah. playing with a Y, kind of space. Mm -hmm. This typeface is so fun. Like, look at that. Oh, wow. Like, it's more like disco. Oh, it says the, Bauhaus, yeah. Yeah, with the gradients, you know, completely different atmosphere by Mehul. It looks like a misprint, which is actually yeah, which is cool. nice. Uh, wow. Oh, it is fun. Interesting. Unfold. So this is stretch too, but then there is a meaning there. Like, we, yeah. we know why you're doing this, because the, if the brand is unfold, then it's these night tilts. Yeah. yeah, nice. Very good job, Laura. And Arturo. Skateboard. Brand. Shreddy. Shreddy skateboards. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice use also of the two typefaces, and they yeah. work very well together, we can see yeah. it here. And then uh, he... That's not often that two um, no. display typefaces uh, have such nice yeah. interaction. And here he extended the shape, so it yeah, it comes a skateboard deck. Skateboard, yeah, very nice. Arturo with uh, the ad and stuff. He did more than the logo. Yeah. And uh, talking says something. Okay, so these are like two people talking, I guess, yeah. facing could, each could other. Could be the Talking Heads logo. Yeah, right. Talking yeah, Heads. Mm -hmm. Say something, some things. Okay, very uh, cool. And Mehul is back with another disco inspiration. Mm -hmm. That was very playful, yeah. There is something there. Very nice exploration. And a line. A line, a line so surfaces. Is, oh, okay, that's fun. The only thing is, what is aligned here? <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a... Yeah, just uh, some weight and services. Okay, yeah. so using the, the end of the G to create an S. Okay. Tyron, okay. Yeah. A lot, of, for beer. a lot of beer brands in the in the previous uh, session. Really? Oh. Yeah. The beer, beer of, of the, the creative, creative designers. designers. Ah. Tyron Henry. Beer for designers. Designer beer. Okay. Studio so. Plus. Also another combination. The two fonts. Yeah. Studio Plus. And the P becomes the O, kind of. Yeah. So that's why there is a. You see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, our line, yeah. Funny. And Chris, wow. Oh, nice. Very Love nice. It. Yeah. Very, what very does it nice. Say? It says Herlevich. Herlevich. Oh, that's his name. Herlevich. Oh, Herlevich design. Right. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a score. It looks, I can. It looks can animated, music. like yeah. it's a wave. A wave or music. Get yeah. into After Effects, Chris, and animate yeah. this. The and then we have people of the universe. Of the universe. It's like He-Man, the masters of the universe, but then the regular, the regular people ones. of the universe. By Rodney. Yeah, again, I mean, 
just using shapes, you know, extract yeah. it, yeah. And this type phase, yeah, they, they really live well together. It's yeah. awesome. And now it's time for the very hard exercise where we need to pick one. So there is this batch, but there is also, if you remember well, the nine from the beginning. So I will show them again very quickly. It was, yeah, this, this yeah, one, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. So we show them again very quickly. Poster, Hei, Prince, Yuri, Takashima, yeah. Bauhaus, XS, Liza Kern, and Jacqueline. Thomas also with the Cartier, you were thinking about the park, and the coffee beans. And then if you come back to the main page, we reviewed all this design. So is there one that uh, you want to reward? Um, there's a couple of favorites. I like, I like the, 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 the parrot one. You like the parrot one? So it yeah. was uh, Ufuk uh, Sak, uh, Sakmak. Okay, combining yeah. everything with the city here. I like the U times two, it's really nice. This one yeah. by uh, Dietmar here. Um, I always go for the simple ones. North Art is nice. Can you show it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. Ah, yeah, with everything Simple aligned. and clean. It doesn't need much. Jan Schmidt. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah it was unfold also. Yeah, That's unfold nice was nice. Execution. So if there is a one yeah. designer you want to reward. Form and function is nice. So that's our, that are my favorites. If I have to okay. pick one, it's yeah. going to be the, 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 where is it? All the way at the bottom. The, the one that says Bauhaus, Japanese one. Ah, so it was from the first batch. Yeah, from the first batch. And I think it was Yuri in the, no? Uh, Yuri. Okay, now it was at the bottom here in this, yeah. this one. Yeah. Yuri Takashima. Yuri Takashima. Has to be this one. It's, it's a winner for me, it's a winner. Da, 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 da. Okay, congratulations, Yuri. Omedato <laughs> Yuri. You will receive a Crave Card subscription, okay? We'll send you a private message on Behance. To keep in touch. And uh, she was very active in the chat too. She was awesome. Yeah, So she's she like, is. wow! Yeah. Good Ooh. job paying attention to details, the construction, yeah. Awesome. And again, for all the other people who shared a logo, make sure to share this logo on social, like check the contest uh, of the Adobe Hidden Treasures campaign on social because you can get another chance to win. Maybe you can get a MacBook Pro. So awesome prize too. Cool, so let's go back to After Effects because yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna we try to um, animate the last. Uh, can you animate the character? S in four minutes? That's the challenge. That's my question. And as you are animating the S, let me show you the schedule again, one more time. So this week on Adobe Live. So tomorrow we will be back at uh, 5 p.m. Um, Central Time, so time in Paris. It's 8 a.m. Pacific Time with uh, Katerina Bianchini. So she will be back designing posters. You will be back at 7 p.m. Paris time to animate the other typeface and then We'll have Philip. So Philip, he will be live with us today. He will be live with us in actually 10 minutes. The show will be hosted by Rufus, who is back from the yo-yo. He was like, you know, it's, I'm not kidding. He was in a nightclub. Yeah? Yeah. He was in a nightclub and he just came back. You saw him there? He will tell you, I guess, the story and explain why he was in the nightclub. Or you make sure to ask him, what were you doing at the yo-yo? Big question. Okay, let's go back to After Effects. You have three minutes to animate the S. Oh, no pressure. Because we want to see Bow House. We want to see it animated. And Tim is asking, is it the night shift with Rufus? Yes, the night shift is definitely back. Tim, you will see that.
Yuri, we will contact you if you want before we will find another price for you. We'll find something else, but thanks for sharing your awesome work. And thanks everyone. And uh, really, I wasn't expecting this level of uh, creativity, execution, just giving you like two typefaces and say, okay, create a logo. And, and there will be more. Okay, so during the show with Philip, uh, which will start in eight minutes, you can submit more logo. Okay, or maybe you can take the one you created and fine tune it, add some ideas. Maybe you will be inspired by the other logos that, you, that you've seen and don't hesitate to submit a new one. Okay, how is, how is it? How many shapes do you have with the S? Uh, three. Three, okay. Oh, yeah. Two minutes, two minutes. I'm worried. Okay, I can see the two mask. Oh, I forgot yeah. to. Just like this, it looks good, huh? I like it. I got this ah, one. Let's point. see if I can do it afterwards, if it makes sense. No. Everything is destroyed. Yes, I forgot a step because of the pressure. Ah, the pressure, you see? Um, you cannot animate under pressure. In front of hundreds of people. <laughs> so the very important step is always move the anchor point yeah. back to the center. Yeah, I think we're there. And if you join this show, make sure to get the typefaces, okay? It's in the change type too. You can really access this, uh, like this one that he's animating for free. It's available on Typekit for anyone. You don't have to be a member of Creative Cloud. It's really for everyone. And uh, this is uh, Xenx, and tomorrow we'll be animating Yoshi? Yoshmi. Yoshmi, Yoshmi. Yep. Okay, how does it look? Uh, we only need to position the mask for ah, this yeah. one. And I think we're there, maybe. So. Let's go. Can we finally type Bauhaus? Bauhaus. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Write text. Don't go too crazy on the sliders. No. <laughs> so it says Bauhaus, but will it animate? Whoa. Yeah. It works. So nice. Thanks. And you can change the colors? Try something. You can uh, change the colors, yeah. So let's... Um, yeah, classy. Some shades of blue. Okay. Whoa. Very nice, good job. Thanks. And thanks for sharing your process. So tomorrow you will be back with sure. another typeface and another yep. process. Yep, me, another process. Yep. yep. And they say, nice, really beautiful, yeah, thanks. awesome. And don't hesitate, so the replay will now be available in five minutes on Behance oh. and also on YouTube. So if you want to watch again how he was creating all these expressions, you can pose, you can zoom in, do whatever you want. And we'll be back in five minutes with Rufus and Philip. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow, same time? Yeah, same okay. time. Stay tuned. Okay, we'll be back in five minutes for UX design in Adobe XD. Bye, everyone.